Okay, so um, I have this bit of foam which goes under the plate. Seems to work really well. So I'll just set my trap. Okay, position the trap in the ground, in your set, directly in front of that stick. Drag stick goes around the corner, around the bend here. into your trap right what you do now is you bed your trap in that means pushing the dirt down on the springs there make it nice and firm if the dog comes along and puts his puts his foot on a spring or on one of the jaws the trap won't roll in the set it's nice and firm that one's good. Bed the other side in. So she's nice and firm. Grab yourself a, a stick, a yay long. Double check your trap, make sure it's firm. Next thing is you um, bury your chain. You've got to dig your chain in. And what we do now, nice and firm, your trap's firm in the set, lift up the loose jaw, put your foam in, prime your trap, bring him down a bit, so he should be running fairly true, nice and flat, that's what you're looking for. Now there's a little bit of dirt under this Loose spring at the front here. Pat him down nice and firm. He needs to be sitting on firm ground. He doesn't want to be flopping in the breeze, this one. That's not too bad. Could come up a little bit more, I think. Yep. That's better. Okay, your trap's in position, been primed. Now you start to work on him. Now these uh, these sections on the outside of springs, these round circles, I call them rings. And you don't want any rocks or debris in those rings because when they let go, you want them to slide up the jaws. So be fairly particular on your rings. Make sure. When you're starting to cover her up, there's no rocks. 
large clods, solid clods. 